Hey YouTube, it's Homebrew Wednesday again. Usually on Homebrew Wednesday, I try to give you guys an update or a, a tasting of one of my homebrews. Unfortunately, I don't have one this week, and let me show you the reason why. Okay, this is the reason why is that um, the other week I made this honey mead and it's still in the primary fermenter because you know it just takes a lot longer usually the timing of a beer for me would be you know two and a half weeks that Wednesday I'd be able to do a tasting and uh, give you guys an update but unfortunately because of this I, I can't do one this week um, so that's my honey mead this one here is a blonde ale that I just did last week you'll see the video for how to make this this Friday um, so it turned out really well. This is an extract brew. Um, I got a little advice at the store on how to make it uh, a good blonde ale out of it. So hopefully um, that will turn out really well. Uh, since that one's a few days, it's still got about probably this weekend we'll be uh, putting it into the keg and then I usually let it condition the keg and clear for about a week. Then um, it's ready to drink. Um, also, um, I just came across this. My uh, son found this carboy for me, uh, so he <laughs> he, he uh, gave it to me, and um, you know we we cleaned it out a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to make a hard cider uh, coming up shortly, and and put it in the, this new carboy. All right, let me take you over to what I got in the fridge. Okay, here's our fridge. Um, in this keg, I got our last bit of our pumpkin ale. Now, pumpkin ale, this is one of the, my favorite beers I think I've ever made. Um, although it doesn't have a whole lot of pumpkin flavor, it's just a really good um, tasting beer. Um, over here is my Hobnobble and Porter. Uh, Hobnobble and Porter is really a, a great, robust porter. I think next time I might put a little less black patent and a little bit more of the chocolate malt just to tweak it a little bit. Um, I found that um, I had some ribs the other week and this was really good with the ribs. Some yeast starters back there in the bar, back. Uh, some bottles that I, um, you know, have that I, I uh, took from the keg, just in case I go out. They're um, actually my porter. And then we got um, some grains. This is the all grain brew that I'm gonna do this week. I'm gonna actually do a old ale, a, a authentic British old ale. Um, well guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, sorry I didn't have any um, beer for you for a tasting that's new. Um, but next week we'll probably be back on schedule by then. Uh, next week I should be uh, tasting the Blondale for you.